So right now I'm putting a new set of casings on the tube. I use the hog middles, the um, natural casing hog middles. They're a nice size for everything. They're kind of like a kielbasa size, like a sweet Italian size. Um, I, this time, and this is the first time I've used them, I bought the pre-tubed. So they come fed onto these plastic tubes and then you put the tube on to feed the casing. Kind of like so. I'm not an expert at this yet either because again, this is the first time I've actually used the pre-tubed. In the past, I've always used the um, just the loose ones and then you actually have to sit here and feed the whole thing on. It takes a lot of time. These are more expensive. The other ones are quite a bit cheaper, but really worth the time and you know with the minutes that it takes to feed I'm sure there's a little bit of a trick to this anybody has some tips you know let us know leave them in the comments Let's see the first one was a little easier to feed than this just because of the position of the casing on here but if you've ever fed onto a tube using the ones that are not pre-tubed, which usually come knotted up, varying sizes, varying lengths. This is, is really world's easier, even though I'm making a little bit of a muck of it here. And I apologize for not having my face in the frame, but I really wanted you to get to see the equipment because that's, that's really what matters to all of us right now. One thing I do recommend is keeping the casings wet. So if I have a pause in between, like if I'm going to get more meat, refilling this or whatever, I will take a wet paper towel and I'll just keep it over, over the casing to keep it wet. And then it, it stays nice and wet and it feeds easily off the tube. Another thing I do is a lot of times I'll, um, before I put one on, I'll just wipe down the tube with like some, some olive oil or coconut oil. So now that's on there. Just need to pull it forward enough so that this end doesn't fold up on this end and that's it pull it out this goes in the trash well off and now to start an actual stuffing I'm gonna pull some of this casing off the tube pull it out I'm gonna make a knot in the end that a little bit tight it will dry but you do also don't want it coming loose which did happen to me on another batch kind of feed that back tight to the end poke a hole for the air to come through so that everything feeds um, I'm just using a, a corn cob holder if you had a little knife little prick you know they do actually sell little pricks for this whatever so now with the sausage stuffer hand cranks back here I'm just going to crank this at a consistent pace and kind of guide this as it feeds off. Um, you know, you don't want to go too fast or you'll overstuff. You just kind of want to go at the pace that you need to stuff the casing. And that's kind of just, I guess I'm still kind of perfecting that as well. This did decide to just move this time. Oh, because I'm at the end of it. So we'll stop there. I'll refill this and then we'll go again.